Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Hey, Yankees fans, I know I released a whole bunch of videos on Gary Sanchez thinking that I was going to lose subscribers, but guess what? I gained about 20 new subscribers off those videos. If you're lurking, if you're subscribed to this channel for a very long time now, you would know that I don't care for subscribers, okay? I, I love you guys, but I don't care if I lose subscribers with my opinions. I'm going to state what I feel, okay? And really what I noticed by me doing that, I have noticed that other Yankees commentators and even mainstream media writers, even people on radio, I'm making it okay to talk about certain topics that other people are scared to talk about. It's like I'm running an experiment to see what works and what doesn't. But people, for for some reason, which I think is cool, like to hear a straight shooter. So this is why I have gained subscribers instead of losing subscribers. I know people are leaving angry comments. Oh, how dare you suggest trading away Gary Sanchez? So talking about that, when it comes to Yankees personnel, current or non-current, Aaron Boone has become the latest to publicly criticize Gary Sanchez when it comes to his conditioning. We heard it from A-Rod. We heard it from the former hitting coach, Alan Cockrell. We heard it from Joe Girardi. Now we're hearing it from Aaron Boone publicly. So this is just not a coincidence, folks. People have things to say about Gary Sanchez. It's not just the fans. People are starting to talk about Gary Sanchez more frequently. I have been noticing this since last year, since last season. I've held my tongue. Gary Sanchez this, Gary Sanchez that. His conditioning, he doesn't bl block balls. Oh, supposedly he's the best catcher in all of Major League Baseball. Yeah, sure. Gary Sanchez this, Gary Sanchez that. No, let's be realistic. If you could keep a couple of prospects and trade away Gary Sanchez at this point, in my opinion, I even wrote an article yesterday, I would trade Gary Sanchez in a heartbeat just for the simple fact that I would not want to sacrifice a player like Greg Bird because obviously you need to get rid of somebody if you're going to rotate Gary Sanchez at first base or DH you're going to have to get rid of somebody I would not get rid of a defensive player like Greg Bird who has upside we know if he continues to play he's just going to be an offensive threat so all these prospects are supposed trade bait at this point what makes Gary Sanchez Teflon what makes him untouchable when it comes to, let's say, him being a trade piece in obtaining an ace. Hmm? Because what we're seeing publicly from all these Yankees personnel reflects Gary Sanchez in a bad light where they're essentially calling him lazy. We don't really know Gary Sanchez. We don't know what he does on his time off. But this is coming straight from Aaron Boone's mouth. And it has come from Alex Rodriguez's mouth. And it has come from the former hitting coach's mouth. It has come out of Joe Girardi's mouth. This is Aaron Boone's quote. Brian Hotch posted this on his Twitter. He said, Aaron Boone on Gary Sanchez's DL stint. Maybe it's a time that we make sure he's staying proactive with the conditioning so that when he does come back, he's in the best possible place so that he can be physically sound the rest of the way. Hmm, yeah. Obviously, Brian Hodge is posting this because he knows for a fact that, I mean, the spotlight is on Gary Sanchez. You have all these prospects, all these prospects that can develop in potentially being better than Gary Sanchez. They are busting their ass. They are putting in the work. And they are the trade chips. What makes Gary Sanchez Teflon? And you guys know I'm Dominican. I'm not biased for no reason. If I think JT Riamalto who is a white man, is better than Gary Sanchez, by leaps and bounds, I am going to tell you. I don't see the color of people's skin. I don't see their races. I don't care. If you're a good baseball player, that's all that counts. And the comments that Brian Hotch got, it was all Yankees fans saying, yeah, I mean, that looks bad for Gary. All these Yankees personnel, these former, these current coaches, players, managers, all saying the same thing about Gary Sanchez. 
everybody's saying the same thing. So why is it that he is untouchable, but all these other prospects are not? Hmm? But this is what some Yankees fans think. This is what they think. They think that Gary Sanchez is untouchable. You don't know what they think in the front office. You don't know if they really want to trade this guy. Who knows? We could get JT Real Monto real quick. Bam. Not for Gary Sanchez. Not for a straight up trade just like that. But we could still get him. We could flip a Gary Sanchez for an ace. We could do so many things with a Gary Sanchez. Does he deserve to be traded in my opinion? Yes. If what the former managers, the former coaches, the former players, and the current manager, if what they are saying is true, he, beyond a shadow of a doubt, needs to be brought up in trade conversations. He needs to be brought up in these conversations. Here's a reply for an example left on uh, Brian Hodge's post. Kevin says, it's embarrassing that a professional athlete cannot have the self-discipline to be in proper physical shape. I'm not saying that Sanchez is out of shape, but the implication in Boone's statement is a little odd. Then others say, that is quite a statement. So to the Yankees fans that are getting mad, do you realize that, let's say, 30% or maybe 20% of Yankees fans have this opinion, okay? Other people are going to have other opinions. And you can't go around and say, yeah, this guy's a moron, this guy's crazy, because really, that is the coward's way out. You have to debate somebody. If you claim that Gary Sanchez is a great catcher, I'm talking about overall great catcher, show us proof. Show them proof. Show us how Gary Sanchez is top five in all of Major League Baseball when it comes to being a great defensive catcher. Okay? Show us how Gary Sanchez is better than JT Rio Mutu, who maybe at this point is going to be traded to the Astros and is going to come back to bite the Yankees in the ass, just like Verlander. He's one of those players that is going to impact another team in contention for that playoff run. And they're going to strike gold for the simple fact that he's under control for three more years. Have you seen his numbers? Literally, he's top. He's number one in all of Major League Baseball as of now. And the funny thing is that Buster Posey is leading him in votes. So if you're a Major League Baseball fan, a Yankees fan, both for JT Rumuto, even if he doesn't make that starting gig for the All-Star. Obviously, he's going to be an All-Star. But just vote for him just to feel great about it. Just to feel great about you voting for an All-Star that deserved to start that game. Also, here's some tweets mentioned to me. JT Rumuto is a great player. He would make the Yankees a lot better and deeper. But I'm sure you're going to ignore his 3.2 war in 2018 in only 57 games. And he says, war literally is used to show how an individual player impacts the game. The Yankees would win two more games with Real Mutu catching over Sanchez, without a doubt. Sanchez would be a fantastic DH for the Yankees, and he could act as a backup catcher if that scenario happened. But like I said, I'll take it a step further. I'll completely trade Gary Sanchez for a starting pitcher. I know people were sounding like crazies mentioning that on radio shows. Oh, trade DeGrom for Sanchez, etc. But now that I'm hearing constant, constant criticism from coaches, from the current manager of the New York Yankees, to be honest, folks, it's not looking great for Gary Sanchez. It's just not. We keep hearing the same thing over and over and over about Gary Sanchez, over and over again. When is it going to stop? People keep saying he's still young. He has room to improve. Really? Oh, he has room to improve his defense. Really? With age, it's just going to get worse. You fans are going to learn the hard way when Gary Sanchez calls to your big game. Not like he hasn't already. You're just going to learn the hard way when he lets a ball pass him. You're just going to learn the hard way when, let's say, he gets injured because he can't handle the toe. The baggage of catching a full season as a catcher. And like I said, the Yankees making a trade for JT Rumutu can happen easily. They just need to be dedicated to it. They could trade for him and get an ace and keep their young studs. If you have read my article that I posted earlier on N1YNews.com, the Marlins have a lot of Yankees personnel that were former Yankees personnel that know the ins and outs of the Yankees farm system. It wouldn't take that much to get Real Mutu. Sure, it'll take a big name, but the other prospects that would be included would be prospects that maybe a lot of people haven't heard of.
And I'll go a step further. The Marlins might ask for a Domingo Herman. Who knows? All I know is Jonathan Luizaga, in my opinion, is a better pitcher than Domingo Herman. The Yankees have a lot of things to do. I mean, if the Yankees want to keep Gary Sanchez as their franchise catcher, that's up to them. But if JT Riamuto is out there, come, come on, folks. I, for one, would love JT Riamuto to be my new franchise catcher. Please let that happen. Please let that happen. It's just my opinion. I know some people are, are going to disagree with that, but I would prefer JT Riamuto any day of the week, any second, any hour, any whatever you want to make up. I would prefer him around the clock. And, hey, if you want to keep Gary Sanchez, then, hey, you're just going to have to get rid of Greg Bird or some other player. So, you know, Gary Sanchez for an ace hmm, kind of makes sense, okay? At this point, it does. A lot of Yankees personnel, former and current, have a lot of things to say about Gary Sanchez. You don't see that with any other player. He's just a distraction, folks. Just a distraction. Now that I heard about that stuff, I, I made up my mind. I never talked negatively about Gary Sanchez. It's just been recently these few past weeks. Now that I know that, I mean, it makes sense to now trade him for an ace. Sorry to say that, but that's just my opinion. That's just what I feel, and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Hey, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Tell people why you think Gary Sanchez will last as a catcher on the New York Yankees, as a franchise catcher, without getting injured, improving on his defense, etc. Just improving on his conditioning, etc. Make the case for Gary Sanchez. Make the case of why the Yankees shouldn't target another catcher to, let's say, replace Gary Sanchez while he's out at least. Or make the case why the Yankees shouldn't target a JT Rumo to one of the best or the best catchers in the game that is going to be available. Make the case of why the Yankees shouldn't do that. Okay? Convince us. Because at this point, like I said, if managers are talking negatively about Gary Sanchez and his conditioning, I don't see it improving. Because this is two managers in a row that say the same thing about Gary Sanchez. Okay? And we don't know what other people think because they are not talking publicly. But we are hearing it from people that have the balls to talk publicly about Gary Sanchez. Because if you dare talk about Gary Sanchez, you get bashed by a whole bunch of Yankees fans. Okay? Maybe people are scared. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will check you out next time.